Oh my god, that's that is spicy. Let's go. I'm Carla and I'm Terry and we're back with another um, candy uh, video uh, Canadian slash American candy uh, video so um, this one has a little bit of a, a spicy twist get our spice on <laughs> Food, so we're actually not that scared by this. We don't think any of this is going to really affect I'm scared by these way. two. I, I really don't think they're going to be that spicy. <laughs> we're hard to please whenever it comes to hot sauce because we like it the, the hotter the better. So, um, yeah, I don't think any of these are going to be crazy. Thing. Okay. <laughs> so, what do you want to do first? Uh, yeah, so we'll start with the Mylas. So what flavour do we go here? The mango chilli? Mango chilli yeah, and it's so, mantos. So mango chilli mantos. Um, so they're like on the Scoville unit, a couple of hundred Scovilles, very, very minimal. Okay. Good Cheers. Mm -hmm. They're really true. They're hard. So as expected, not a huge amount of spice off that. No, there's a tiny bit of heat, but... Um, they're really tasty. It's nice with the mango. Mm -hmm. mm. It tastes like salsa. Yeah, very fruity it's salsa. It's kind of like a mango, spot, mango salsa, and that's exactly what it is. Mm. It's okay. I think down in Mexico, though, you get like a lot of like spicy candies and stuff like that, so I wonder if it was inspired for that. Okay, so moving on then. You're a huge, huge fan of sriracha. Yeah. So the next one is a sriracha chocolate. So on the Scoville scale, this is somewhere similar to a jalapeno pepper. So it's uh, getting up there a little bit, a little bit of spice, somewhere in around about 2,000 to 6,000 Scoville units. Yeah, and we got um, the dark chocolate because this is vegan and gluten-free, which is good too. So if anyone's watching that is vegan and wants to try any of these, um, this one you can try. Uh, we got it because sriracha, obviously, we don't find it spicy at all. It's just like red sauce, it's just our ketchup. Um, but the back of it says it has a warning on the back of it. It says, warning, our chocolate is uncontrollably hot and may cause sweating and happiness. Again, I don't think this is going to have much of an effect on us, but we shall see. So. And it just comes in like normal, like, chocolatey chunks. Yeah. Cheers. Good luck. Are you getting any spice from that at all? <laughs> There's salt in it. Is there Himalayan mm -hmm. salt in it? Yeah. That's just a, that's sea salt chocolate, dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. I don't even taste the sriracha in that at all. No, no aftertaste or anything either? No. This was spicier. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tasty bar. Yeah, no, it's If nice you want to eat a dark chocolate salted chocolate bar, it's very good. It's hurt my teeth though. Um, but other than that, that's not spicy. No. Not in spicy. Not at all. Okay, um, so the next one is the, what are they called, kick-ass peanuts? The ass kicking. ass kicking peanuts with habanero pepper. It says in the front of it, kick your ass hot. Um, and yeah, again, these are uh, vegan, gluten-free, so if anyone um, wants to try them that, uh, like me, can't usually eat that kind of stuff, then this is another one that you can uh, test your strength on. Yeah. So how many nuts are you going to take? How many nuts can you take, Terence Finale? <laughs> take a few nuts anyway. Damn! Um, so we're kicking it up a little bit on this. Uh, habanero is somewhere between about 130 and 250,000 Scoville units. So about 10 times hotter than a jalapeno. 10 times hotter than jalapeno? Mm -hmm. Okay. Somewhere in around there. I'll take one. You're going to take a few. Okay. Yeah, I'll take a couple of ones. So, yep. A lot of seasoning on them, so hopefully, yep. Good luck. hopefully spicy. Mm -hmm. 
There's more kick in a salted peanut than there is in that. There's a tiny bit of an aftertaste. A tiny, tiny bit of the dust, but... Yeah. Just right at the end. I didn't get it while I was chewing it. Just right at the end. Tiny bit of heat and, no. it's, and it's gone again. And this is something you're going to find with our videos. We're very honest people, so we're not going to try to ham it up for the camera <laughs> and uh, yeah, pretend that everything's spicier than what is. So far, none of this is spicy. Like, if you have kids, by all means, let them try it. it there, it's not going to affect them. Unless we are just mutants at this point because we've had so much spice that we mm. can't taste it. No, we are fans of hot sauce, so maybe our palates have adjusted a little bit. But. Maybe. So a ghost pepper on the Scoville scale is about a million Scoville units. So a lot hotter, hopefully, than the rest of the stuff. Um, so I guess we have a hard candy and a gummy, and we're going to go with the hard candy, hard candy first. first. And it is cherry flavoured, um, which is nice. Actually, none of this stuff, all this stuff is flavoured. None of it is um, like chilli flavoured or anything like that. I hate whenever you get spicy like jelly beans or stuff like that, and it doesn't taste sweet. It just tastes like... A chili. I, I want sweetness in my in my candy. So, uh, does this have any warnings? Just a choking warning. Um, it's from Missouri. It's from the Flamethrower <laughs> Candy Company. Love the name. Um, and again, uh, this is fine for if you're vegan or gluten free. So, um, you get to take part and enjoy um these challenges. So, they're cute. They're kind of shaped like little tiny uh ghost peppers. Yeah, I guess so. so. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. You something at first? Mm hmm. I taste the cherry, okay. Mm hmm. I don't, like, there's a tiny bit of a kick, the same amount that was in the Mentos. I'm not getting any. Heat really? Control. I have a wee bit of heat to that. Not not a huge amount, but there's a wee bit of heat. You don't feel it all, no? There's it's it's it's, it's just a, a warm it's a flavor, kind of yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's like a warm kind of feel in the tongue, but it's not spicy. Like I could eat the whole yeah. bag and it wouldn't yeah, affect me. It's not, uh, not unbearable like, or anything. They're more -ish. like I would eat more of those. They no, are, the, the cherry flavor is nice. They're very tasty. Um, well done, flamethrower uh, candy company. You make you make delicious candy, but not spicy candy. And then moving on to the final one. What's the what's the signet on the Scoville unit? So again, it's ghost pepper. So it's about a million Scoville units. A million Scoville units. And again, uh, this one is fine for anyone who um, is uh, gluten intolerant. There is gelatin in it, so maybe not if you're vegan. Okay, so we've already cut this um, dude in half because it is, oh, it's really sticky. And it is huge. A huge candy. So, yeah, we only got one of them, so we're just going to... Um, split it in half. And split it in half and... Yeah, we're gonna eat the entire thing. Well, we might as well because none of the rest of it was spicy, so I kind of feel like we sure. do it just as we should. Yeah. They, um, let's eat, eat it slowly so we can see if maybe. All in one mouthful? Or? All in one mouthful. That's a one bite. That's a one biter. <laughs> yeah, all in one um, bite. And yeah, let's just take our time with it. So Super. That, and yeah, hopefully. Please be spicy. Let, let it burn the insides of our mouths. Yeah. Maybe it was a wee bit too big. Five minutes later. I'm already getting more spice off mm -hmm. Woo! There's, there's a good bit of spice in that. I'm start, starting to build. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Definitely a bit of heat. Oh my god, that's that is spicy. How are they the same? Just the way it's delivered, I guess. I guess you're chewing it more, so it's getting in around your mouth more. And just take out. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating. That one is spicy. 
Not uncontrollably spicy, but... I'll no, that's, that's a nice heat, though. Yeah, I wouldn't need another one, though. No. Oh. <laughs> Whoo! I've got the sweat. We got too cocky with that one. I think we got too cocky with all. <laughs> okay, that one. Yeah, good job on that one. And who's that one by? Let's see. I have the hiccups now. <laughs> Giantgummybears.com. They make the world's largest gummy bears, aren't they? Yeah, I've got the hiccups, guys. <laughs> My eyes are watering. Well, that's tasty, though. That's really good. Like, again, it was, there was a taste off it. It wasn't just... It wasn't just heat. It's still building though. Is it? Yeah, my nose is starting to run. I've got the hiccups. Oh my goodness, I was too cocky with that one. Woo! I think you did have the bigger half, even though you didn't want it. Okay, and you told us to keep some sweet stuff off the side, not water. Why? Uh, water just doesn't work to break down the chemical that causes the heat. So water just cools your mouth down for a second, but as soon as the mouth's gone, the chemical's st uh, still... As soon as the water's gone, the chemical's still there, so the heat doesn't go anywhere. But sweet food and fatty foods help break it down. Okay. And alcohol, alcohol. But water does nothing for you. Okay, well, there you have it. We tried five of Canada's spiciest uh, sweets that you can buy in a candy shop, and four of them were tasty but not spicy and the final one uh, got me at least but was your lips tingling my lips are tingling <laughs> there was, my mouth is tingling and i got the hiccups so uh and my eyes are watering it's starting to, to um dissipate now that i mm -hmm. had some marshmallows but yeah um let's do the cliche youtube if you like the video give it a thumbs up so we know that you're liking uh, these kind of videos and we'll try to do more maybe spicier ones um and yeah uh, thank you again for joining us and we will see you again in a in a future video. So yeah. we have been uh, the takeoffs. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.